think to yourself, there has to be more to this. Or maybe you even thought to yourself, I deserve more. I hope you thought that because you truly do deserve more. But oftentimes we're afraid to go for that more that we deserve. And when we're thinking that there should be more to this, we're often afraid to explore just how great our experiences could be in life. I want to invite you to unleash that power, to unleash the power of more in your life. If you're anything like me, you're thinking that I should be able to be more, do more, have more, or achieve more. I should be able to experience more. And I think you should know that you are right. You can be more, you can do more, and you can have more, but it will take you being willing to do something different. It's very foolish of us to keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. So if this is you and you've been saying to yourself, there has to be more to this, I want to invite you to go to my website, www.womenwantmore.live. And I want to invite you to give yourself the opportunity to experience the more that you sense your life deserves. Again, that website is www.womenwantmore.live. Welcome once again to I'm the Good Thing, the podcast. Now, this is the place where we unpack life wisdom. We pray, we affirm, and most of all, we discover our true beauty, our worth, and our power. I'm Denise Taylor, and I'm all about helping women build a life they love. And that begins with us believing everything good about who God created us to be. Now, this is the place where we get energized in a God kind of way. As we see ourselves the way God sees us. And let me tell you, sis, you are good. Today's life wisdom is this. You are not what happened to you. You are what you decide to do next. Now, once a year, I host my iconic event, Unstoppable. One of the things that really prompted me to begin sponsoring the Unstoppable event is working with women and realizing that many of us are hung up on what happened to us. So as I consider today's life wisdom, I think about all of the women who have had to face what happened to them. Many of us have had some traumatic experiences that we really had to pick up the pieces of our life and figure out now what. But I love how this life wisdom really points to what that now what move really is. You are what you decide to do next. And so I want you to think about these four things and consider how these can be your best next move. The first one is forgiveness. And I understand wholeheartedly when we think about what happened to us, how difficult it could be to forgive. But one of the things that I want you to remember is that forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is the gateway that sets you free from guilt and shame. It doesn't necessarily release them. It releases you. You can make your next step forgiveness so that you can then begin to walk in the freedom that it affords. The next best step is healing. Taking a healing journey will absolutely unearth everything that you went through. But one of the things that I found from my own healing journey is that much of the pain, much of the disappointment, much of the shame, and even the condemnation were things that I was holding on to. My life coach loves to tell me all the time, Denise, God doesn't do shame and condemnation. If you're feeling that, that's not coming from him because he doesn't roll that way. 
And so when I think about that, I think about how I was holding on to all of those things that were holding me back from really being able to embrace my healing. The next thing is redemption. You will absolutely be redeemed. Walking in that as a next step means that you can recover, you can be restored, you can get back everything that was stolen from you in that regretful moment. You can be redeemed. And then finally, you can embrace your goodness. You can embrace who God created you to be. You see, one of the things that I love is the fact that it doesn't matter what happened to me, it didn't change that I am good. I'm good because that's who God created me to be. He called me good from the very beginning and nothing will ever change that. And so my affirmation for us today is simply this. I am forgiven. I am healed. I am redeemed. And I am good. Thanks for connecting with me today. If this was a help to you, apply what stood out most to your life. If you loved it, subscribe so you can meet me here next time. And if you were moved, then share this with someone else. Keep seeing yourself the way God sees you. After all, you are the good thing. And visit my website, imthegoodthing.com for all sorts of good stuff. And I'll see you next time.